everyone, it's Christina from American Red Flower Farm. So right now we are out here at the flower farm and we just got back from vacation. We were gone for like a week. It's been two weeks since we've been out here. Um, we are pulling out the dead zinnias or the dead plants and I have some seeds that I'm gonna direct sow at the top of the hill uh, for curbside appeal. And what else are we gonna do? Oh, and then we'll do a, uh, we'll show you guys the tulips that we planted two weeks ago. But right now I'm just pulling out these dead zinnias. Um, we've got to get ready to plant uh, for the spring. We did some uh, plugs last month and we still have a little, we think we have one more tray of plugs. Uh, we have Campanula. I'll plug in a picture right here what they look like just so you know, just for reference. Um, we have Campanula that we have, have to plant out and we have some Snapdragons. There's still some Gadesha plugs that need to be planted. Uh, when we got here, I forgot that we left a tray out here, or actually two trays. They're not full trays, but uh, part of trays. And the Gadesha got uh, eaten by, I'm assuming, by turkeys. Let's go and look at the, the plugs, the, um, the plugs that we planted. Let's see how they're doing, because we haven't checked on them yet. I hope that uh, the camera or the, the audio isn't picking up all the wind. Look at this, look at this pretty grass. but I don't, it's, it's a huge mound. So I'm gonna get this out before it starts seeding. That is a on it. This is a marigold. This is the, might be the only thing that is uh, blooming right now on the farm that is alive. No, there's a few, no, the plugs are alive. But uh, I planted this in probably around May, April, May. And uh, it's a perennial around here but it doesn't like the heat. So right now it's like full bloom. These are the Gadesha that we planted about a month ago and they're doing just fine. Which you, I was concerned because the tray that was left out here was the same, uh, same plant, Gadesha, and uh, the turkeys got to that or some kind of bird got to that, but they haven't gotten to these ones. So that's good. Oh, and I'll plug in a picture right over here of uh, what the Gadesha looks like. This is white sage right here. I bought these at Ace Hardware the other day. I really like white sage. I like to burn it. It smells good. Uh, it's kind of a spiritual thing. This is rutabecchia right here. There's rutabecca right here at rutabecchia. Uh, they're doing fine. They're they're a slow grower. These won't these won't flower until like late summer. Um, I haven't successfully planted them. I've got some at the house in the backyard, but uh, they've never thrown out very, not, not too many flowers. So I just got them to see how they do. Uh, right here, we also have fever few. These mounds right here are fever few. These are weeds. Um, right here is a lupin. This is a wild lupin. I just left it there because it was pretty big. So I wanted to see what it looked like. Uh, we have more rutabecchia in here amongst the weeds. I need to come through and weed these. Uh, fever few in the center. And then over here is the hyperscum. And I noticed that this, as it's gotten colder, it's turned red. Uh, I've never grown this before, so I'm, I'm not sure exactly uh, how it's gonna do if it's supposed to turn red, but it still looks alive, even though it's red. Fever few still. Uh, this right here was a perennial grass. I don't, I, I don't know if it's going to come back because of our fusarium, um, but I left it just in case. This is all fever few, and then rutabecchia on the bottom row. Okay, so this is the blue pleurum here, and it's doing really well, even though there's a lot of weeds in here. Uh, it's doing really well. It's grown a lot. It looks happy. Um, sure don't have very much of it, I feel like. Um, should we go down? Let's go to the Snapdragons. Here. Maybe I planted the, the crest there, I don't remember. Um, here I have yarrow, this is perennial. 
and it's doing well. I need to cut these flowers off. Today, before we leave, I'll cut those flowers and have them in my house or I'll dry them. Um, in here we have snapdragons. There's, I think, two or three different varieties. And then there's snapdragons from uh, when we planted in the springtime that were propagated from, oh gosh, can you that? That were propagated from clippings of snapdragons like these. I just cut the top off and then stuck them in soil and uh, grew a whole new plant. And so I will probably do that again with some of them. I have so many snapdragons. I think I have over 600 snapdragons in the ground right now that we just planted. And so I really don't need snapdragons. Um, oh, we got the top row. Um, here are, oh, this is stock. This is stock right here, all of this. There's a lot of them. Um, down here, I believe are more snapdragons. No, this is, this is all Godetia right here as well. I had two different varieties of Godetia. I planted them too close together. Uh, we'll see how they do. Uh, Godetia get really big. They get like two, three feet wide. And so those are really close together. Oh. Yeah, so all the plugs are doing really well. Uh, we haven't had any failures on them yet. They're still uh, surviving, they're still growing. Let's look at that Godetia. Oh, they started rooting out the bottom. I gotta plug these into the ground right now. Yeah, so this is the tray that was left out here and you can see the tops were eaten off of them. And we have turkeys, uh, wild turkeys that roam around here at night and in the early morning. So I'm assuming that's what ate these, but it's so weird because the ones in the ground haven't been eaten. Let's go here. Okay, let's, uh, let's look at the tulips. Okay, so here are the tulips that we planted um, and we posted a video on that a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago, I think. Um, they're starting to pop up. So I'm going to walk down and show you how far we uh, planted the tulips to. I'm going to throw down some seeds right now. Some uh, Dara seeds and some straw flower. Uh, we have a cerium out here. And I did not bring my root shield, so it'll be an experiment to see how they do. I don't know if they're sensitive to fasarium, but uh, we'll find out. All right, I sorted of these boots. Um, a company gave these to me. They, it's spelled H-I-S-E-A to the... High C? H-I-S-E-A? Oh, yeah, I guess it would, yeah, I guess it could be pronounced as high C. Um, yeah, really that's probably cool. what it is. I'll put is. all the information down in the description of the video. But uh, they're, they're really nice boots. They're, they're waterproof, they're warm. I actually took them uh, to the snow with us on vacation and I wore them in the snow and I didn't fall at all. Uh, they were super like slip resistant. Uh, they have great treading on the bottom of them. Uh, they also have this cool feature. They have like this little lip on the bottom or the back of them that you can use to pull off your boot hands free. They have this, <sighs> They have this strap right here to make it easy to pull them on. Uh, there's a lot of toe room in them. There, I, I, I can't find anything wrong with these boots. <laughs> they are great boots. Um, yeah, so I will put the information down in the description below and uh, check out their shoes. They have more than just like this type of shoe. They have other varieties of shoes, other varieties like flowers. They have other types of shoes. Uh, so yeah, check them out. All right, so uh, thanks for watching. Uh, leave your comments down below. And if you like the video, hit the like. If you want to see more, subscribe for more videos. We're always putting out videos. We put out usually at least one video a week right now in our slow season. But uh, in the summertime, we put out multiple videos a week. So yeah, so remember, keep your hands dirty if you can.
god, did you see that? That's a good blooper. It got me in the face. It like whipped me in the face. Hey everyone, it's Christina from American Red Flower Farm. So right now we're out here at the flower farm and we have a couple things that Good soil. It's not good soil though. It has a <clears throat> Hey everyone, it's Christina from American Red Flower Farm. So right now 